Each year, as many as 3.5 million Americans sleep in shelters, transitional housing, and public places not meant for human habitation. As a result of the affordable housing crisis, the number of people experiencing homelessness in both rural and urban communities is increasing at an alarming rate. Rents have gone up 75% in the last five years while wages have remained stagnant. Cities like Phoenix are hit the hardest. We all know about Los Angeles, but communities all over America are suffering from the affordable housing crisis. The homeless sector is housing more people than ever before, but more people are entering into homelessness for the first time than service providers can help. Reports estimate that 7.4 million people have lost their homes and are living with family or friends due to economic necessity. Of these invisible people, 1.3 million are children under the age of six years old. As our homeless crisis grows at epidemic proportions, so does community resistance to solutions that will save lives and save taxpayer money. Opposition against the creation of new supportive housing units is often fueled by negative perceptions of homelessness and homeless people. These negative perceptions have been reinforced for decades. Town halls turn into shouting matches. Legal battles are funded by communities to stop progress to ending homelessness. Community boards like Nextdoor are filled with nasty comments from angry neighbors. Anti-social media accounts are growing at an alarming rate. The use of hostile architecture is increasing. So is violence against homeless people. A recent report found that NIMBYism, not in my backyard, is one of the two most significant barriers to building more affordable housing. The public's inability to relate to homelessness is our biggest obstacle to ending it. Hi, I'm Mark Horvath. I'm the founder of Invisible People. We are the only national education-based nonprofit working to end homelessness in North America. Through innovative storytelling, education, news, and advocacy, we are changing the narrative on homelessness. In fact, we do it better than anyone. Housing programs have been created, feeding programs have been created, but more importantly, millions upon millions of people have been educated on homelessness. This year, we launched a brand new Invisible People. We still have the innovative first person interviews from the experts, homeless people themselves, but we also launched a online portal for young adults to learn about homelessness. We now post original news content on homelessness five to seven days a week. Get this, we have about 20 writers and 25% of them, five or six, are homeless and about five or six are formally homeless. 50% of our writers have lived expertise on homelessness. They are the experts. We also launched an online platform for you to write, email, tweet, or call your legislators to demand that they do something about the affordable housing crisis and work to end homelessness. As homelessness grows, the opposition to real solutions that will help people is also growing. Our work is becoming more and more important. Thanks to supporters like you, we've been able to scale this last year. We reached a billion people on social media last year. Our minimum yearly benchmark on YouTube is now 30 million views. We have 325,000 subscribers on YouTube. That's unheard of for nonprofits, much less a nonprofit in the homeless services sector. And it's all made possible because of you. Because you believed in me, you believed in this work, and you believed in invisible people. Today is Giving Tuesday and we're launching our Season of Giving campaign. I've participated in some amazing Giving Tuesdays, but this one is most definitely historic. An organization that believes in the importance of this work and believes in invisible people is making a generous seed donation to start our giving season campaign of $50,000. I'm blown away, grateful. I, mean, I, I This is definitely the best Giving Tuesday. 
If you'd like to be part of this year's giving season campaign, there's a link down below. YouTube doesn't take any fees, so it's 100% pass through on to invisible people. Your generous donation will help us expand educational content into schools and colleges. Help us expand our journalism to reach more people, to hire more writers, to hire more homeless writers. We'll be able to empower more homeless people to share their own story, to educate the public on homelessness, to influence policy change and help end homelessness. Thank you. Think the world of you, always have. Well, that's important, damn it. Who would if you didn't? <laughs> Thank God for you. I love you, Catherine. You've been always a good friend. And so have you. You've been the only one that has been honest and upright with me since day one. Well, thank you very much for talking. And I hope that uh, anybody who's thinking about contributing to your funding to help you, to help us, will see this and oh. decide there is no chance they won't help. <laughs> that was an unsolicited request, but thank you. You're more than welcome. If I had the money, I'd be helping you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Good luck. <laughs>